Welcome to Science 360, the truth behind 2012. In this series of videos, we're investigating the scientific claims behind the supposed 2012 apocalypse, and we're separating fact from fiction. One popular claim is the magnetic pole reversal claim. Let's watch an animation and see exactly what this says. On December 21st, 2012, Earth's magnetic pole will reverse itself, which will allow solar radiation to stream into the Earth's atmosphere and kill all life. <laughs> this is one of the most popular 2012 claims, but does the fact that it's so popular mean that it's actually true? Let's find out. Earth's magnetic field surrounds our entire globe and helps shield us from solar radiation. The field is created by the movement of molten iron in Earth's outer core. But the field is not constant. The exact location of Earth's magnetic north pole shifts by about 40 kilometers every year, and every so often, the field reverses itself completely, with the north and south magnetic poles switching places. Geologists have determined that Earth undergoes a magnetic pole reversal on average every 300,000 years. But the last reversal was 780,000 years ago. Does this mean that we're hundreds of thousands of years overdue for another reversal? Not necessarily. Careful measurements of Earth's magnetic field show that it is losing strength about 10% since the 19th century. But the field is still stronger than average, and as you can see, there have been lots of up and downs in our field strength over time. What is happening now is not unique. We may not be able to tell for sure if Earth's magnetic field is starting a reversal, but if we analyze the fossil record, we can figure out what happened during past reversals and what may happen to human life if a reversal does one day occur. First and most importantly, the fossil records show that the magnetic pole reversals take thousands of years to complete. So we couldn't have a pole reversal on December 21st, 2012, or for that matter, on any specific date. Pole reversals are impossible to predict. This diagram shows how many pole reversals Earth has experienced in the last 160 million years, and as you can see, there is no clear pattern. During a pole reversal, the magnetic field never disappears, it just becomes much more complicated for a while. Instead of having one north and one south pole, during a reversal, a north magnetic pole may pop up in Tahiti and a south pole may appear in France. Eventually, the field will settle into its new alignment, but during the reversal, it will continue to protect Earth from solar radiation. If a magnetic field reversal left living things vulnerable to fatal levels of solar radiation, we would expect to see a change in the fossil records around the same time as earlier pole reversals, but we don't. The fossil record shows no major extinctions or mutations that correspond to a pole reversal. There are also no major weather changes associated with pole reversals. Ice ages, for example, do not match up with reversals. The bottom line is that pole reversals take thousands of years to complete, not a single day, and the field continues to protect Earth even during a reversal. The worst consequence of a pole reversal would probably be having to change all of our compasses. Thanks for watching this segment of Science 360, the truth behind 2012. For more about 2012 claims, be sure to watch the rest of our videos in this series.